Hello friends, thanks for watching. This is Jasmine and you are watching my channel. Today's gonna be a little bit of a different sort of style of video. Um, I am going to be creating this video that I will be releasing on Wednesday while I am at the Indiana Sanatorium, the old tuberculosis ward. And so the tarot class is getting pushed back by just a week. However, I don't want the students to feel like um, they are not going to be sticking with the material for that week. And I, I think it's really critical for while the students are learning that they don't miss a week. Um, so I am going to be sharing some material with all of the students. So if you are currently in the TTC, you can expect to um, have some material sent to you and definitely use that group chat, right? So that way we can all be working together and I can also look it over um, when I'm free. I don't know how available I will be Wednesday. I don't know how much service I will have. So if you reach out to me and you're not able to reach me, that could very well be because I just might not even have signal. Um, but I will definitely be home um, Thursday. So in this video, I've gotten some clips kind of put together from some of my previous TTC graduates throughout the past several years. And I'm going to be having them share their experiences with taking this course and what tarot has done for them after the course. Um, and just kind of some wisdom from, from their experience as being a previous student. So this video is very much for my current TTC students. So if that's not something that you think sounds interesting, totally feel free to click off of this video and I'll see you in the next video. Let's roll the tapes. I'm Janice. I am a former student of Jasmine, uh, an RWS tarot class. Highly recommend it. I loved it. Loved learning everything about it. Originally got me into RWS tarot. What originally got me into RWS tarot is me basically feeling my way through witchcraft and what gifts I could contribute to say and basically learning how to read tarot to help me navigate my per own personal life. Hello everyone, my name is Sydney. I am from Solar Court Coven and taking the class, my initial idea of taking the class was in order to have a better understanding of the major arcana. My background in it and understanding the minor arcana was pretty simple as I had found a couple of books and understanding it better um, and understanding numerology, but taking the class gave me more focus and understanding into the major life events. I started using Rider Waite Smith Tarot at a very stressful and confusing point in my life. I was feeling very lost and unsure in my decision making. I was drowning in my anxiety and I couldn't think straight. And I found tarot to be a very good way to get those issues out of my head and onto a table where I could look at things objectively, I could play out scenarios, I could ask questions in a safe space to my higher self and to my ancestors. And I found that this was a way for me to really alleviate some of that stress that I was t internalizing and therefore make wiser decisions. Hello everyone, my name is Amy. I am the owner of Peaceful Clearings. I am a psychic and an energy healer and I do house cleansings and teach classes. I took the tarot class that is led by Third Eye Fortunes from Jasmine and I benefited greatly from it. She's very lively in the class and she makes sure that you are comfortable and that you're really understanding what the cards mean. The original Rider Waite deck was very hard to read, if I'm being honest. Um, I had no tarot experience before picking it up, and I looked at the images and was very confused as to what I was feeling and how I was reading. So this process where I thought was going to be a simple explanation for me was a little bit more in depth than I thought. The cards had brief touch point descriptions on the bottom, but none of them connected to me personally. And so I sought out a class where I could potentially learn from someone else and happily stumbled across Jasmine's course. Hey there, Leslie here to talk about the RWS system, Rider Waite Smith, and the tarot course that I took with Jasmine at Sparosha Gardens um, in Indy uh, before the move. I was, I think, the first class um, to take um, the RWS uh, tarot class with Jasmine. Um, and that's probably been one of the best decisions I've made in a while. Uh Foremost, I am grateful to Jasmine for her work for this course. I feel like I got everything I needed out of this class. 
I thought I'd never remember card meanings and was just hoping to get better when I originally first took the class. To say the course changed my entire life is putting it mildly. <clears throat> I have connected with the cards in a way I only dreamed and have strength in a practice I didn't think was possible for me. For me, it went beyond the card meanings and opened up to intuition, feeling the cards, and developing a relationship where I can feel communication with them. Whatever your heart is looking for in this course, you will find it in more. Aside from teaching you tarot, it will open you up to the cards and yourself. What got me into RWS tarot was to have a little bit more understanding of it. I had received readings from other witches and other people who would usually use Oracle. Um, however, I wanted to kind of know more of the mysteries, if you will, about RWS. What made it a system? How is it utilized? And can it make it easier for me to read cards? So some things that I benefited from the class are the core essence of tarot. I really learned what the meaning was. Um, what they're tied with, you know, the major arcana, minor arcana, all of those things. So it really benefited me greatly as a psychic because if intuitively you aren't picking up anything or you have what's called a fighter, um, people who are resistant to wanting to really open up, you can always fall back on the cards and you can't argue with what the cards mean. It helped me gain an understanding about myself the people around me, and the meaning of the events in our lives. I literally don't make a major move in my life until I pull some cards and get clarity on the matter at hand, if that makes sense. As for any workings or spells, I use tarot as a form of divination. Even if it's just a simple yes or no answer, I'm going to pull some cards on the matter first. My biggest struggle with taking this class was an over overwhelming feeling how, like, I'm going to remember all of this, how I'm going to um, memorize all the card symbols, meanings. To help me get over this, I will pull a card daily, journal the meaning, reflect on it throughout the day, and maybe come back to that journal entry and maybe add a little more <clears throat> in what it pertained or what it was trying to tell me. Um, sometimes I feel like daily card pulling is kind of, forthcoming of what the day will bring, um, if that makes sense. <laughs> this course for me was honestly kind of mad rigorous. Um, I believe we took it online the time I did it. Um, so a lot of it was virtual because it was the beginning of the panorama. Um, and I feel like I understood a lot of things, but what kind of gave me a little bit of more push and pull was probably the majors and then utilizing it in three card spreads. Um, there was also two working with more of the minor arcana and understanding how the royal court plays into our day-to-day -day lives. Um, I felt like that was probably the hardest because you have to engage more um, with understanding the people because those people represent the people of your querents lives. Um, they could be very influential, they could be just passing by, but understanding the significance, the characteristics, and the Myers-Briggs aspect to that um, definitely developed my readings to be a lot more solid um, and getting like probably 95% accuracy. Taking Jasmine's course was the best thing I could have done for my tarot reading practice, especially at the time that I was struggling. She took all of the stress and all of the confusion out of learning these cards. Learning so many different meanings, trying to memorize everything wasn't working for me. And so Jasmine's course allowed me to break the cards down into groups, to really connect with them emotionally, spiritually, mentally. And therefore I became a more intuitive reader versus just looking at images and delivering what you're supposed to say. And I feel like most readers feel comfortable after having that sort of connection with the cards and Jasmine facilitated that seamlessly. She made it incredibly easy in a low pressure environment to learn how to connect with yourself and therefore connect with your cards. Helped my path, it's helped me broaden my horizons, um, led me to meet some really cool people, um, lovely witches and pagans um, that 
I otherwise probably would not have met. Um, so that's been uh, really awesome. Taking the course was um, a big jump for me because I've, I've been a solitary practitioner for a number of years. Um, being able to open myself up to uh, one learning from somebody else that wasn't just, you know, in books or, um, you know, well, a friend who has done spells, done meditations, things for, you know, a long time, things like that. So opening myself up to an actual course uh, taught by somebody who I had no information on whatsoever uh, was a little scary at the time. Um, I had a friend who was like, hey, you want to go do this? And, uh, you know, I want to go, but I don't know anybody, but I know you, so you want to do this? Okay, cool, bet. So let's do this. So we did, and um, it was great. Um, the learning tarot has tremendously helped um, my, my path. Working as a tarot reader, <clears throat> as of right now, I just personally read for family, friends, and basically word of mouth of people know I read tarot, I'll go ahead and read for them. Um, if someone asks for a reading, I refer to myself as an intuitive reader and I love doing readings to help loved ones through life obstacles. I am grateful for the opportunity that Jasmine has given me, allowing me to help out with her Third Eye Fortunes company uh, during festival season. It's always a blast. Uh, you meet so many different readers you read for so many different people. You come across off people of all walks of life. So that's highly recommended. Um, I just like the experience of people letting me use the tarot to tell their story. I always refer to it as spilling the tea because you do come across the ones that don't want to tell you the whole truth <laughs> of the whole story. But the cards, they speak for themselves, if you know what I mean. For me, tell readings is like a healing and therapeutic sessions. As my advice for any beginner, new reader, is practice, practice, practice. Do it daily, pull cards daily, journal. I still tarot journal to this day. Never stop learning. I would always say trust your intuition at hand and just go for it. There are also some YouTube readers that I like that you can, I like their perspective on things that you can kind of check out. Their style of reading um, is Allie's Tarot and Eat, Read, Love Tarot. And there are also some tarot podcasts out there that can help. So that's about all I have to say for now. I am along for days, so that's it. <laughs> I hope this helps. So some advice that I would like to give people who are first starting out and people who are going to take the class, never let anyone question your own intuition. If you feel it, if you think it for the first time, that is what it is. Never let anyone doubt your own intuition. Some advice when I give for taking the class and if you're struggling, don't overthink things. If you're not sure what the meaning is, just look at the card. Literally, look at the picture of the card and that is the best advice I can give and trust your own intuition because everyone has it and it is there. So the tarot class definitely opened up doors for me because I became a manager of a metaphysical store. I did readings. I've worked in the oldest witch store in the nation at Salem, Massachusetts called Crowhaven Corner. It's opened up a wide variety of things. I can make side money if I want to. It opens my spirituality. So these are our, all things that taking this class. And you know, if you just want to take the class just to learn to do it yourself, it's beneficial as well. In my practice, tarot has significantly changed the way I view magic. Um, it's given me more pause and more consideration when doing spell work. Um, there are some things that I go intuitively for like folk magic, but when it comes to ceremonial work, candle magic, working with my runes, um, tarot has kind of given me more of an uh, overall point of view of what I'm looking for. You can see the majors were basically my main thing to kind of understand better, but the class overall definitely taught me a lot that I didn't see coming into my practice and the work I do. I my path, my guidance, my personal guidance, as well as the guidance that I help with other people. Um, 
I get, you know, people come to me like, hey, so I had this going on. I'm not really sure what to think about it. And I am intuitive, so I will get bits and pieces um, and not always the full story. I, I won't always get the full, like, this is what's going on or help guide them in this direction. But being able to pick up a deck now and flip some cards and see what the diviner is trying to say, um, that's a game changer. To be honest, tarot is what has helped build the pathway and deepen my practice. I had always felt called alternatively and didn't really know where to place that. And so I think that was part of what was leading to a lot of the frustration at that culmination point in my life when I found tarot. I felt reassured when I was starting to read. I felt very confident in what I was saying and doing. And I really enjoyed how it allowed me to feel that flow of energy, that flow of spirituality through myself and therefore out into the world. It was a very visual thing, turning a card, placing it and feeling a connection and reading for someone else or for myself. And it really kind of allowed me the permission in my own self to experience that and to build upon that. And so tarot has been a soul resource for me um, to help me kind of build my practice and feel more comfortable researching topics and diving in. And the process that Jasmine uses in her class can be applied to many other topics as well. You can find ways to use these skills that you're learning to break down these really broad topics and feel comfortable asking questions of yourself and of others if you're needing help. And I think that that is instrumental in building your confidence as a practitioner. I can go more in depth with people. I can help them figure out, let's go this route, or mm, I think this is not the way you need to be going. Let's, this is saying, try this way. So let's give it a shot and see what happens. Um, that's been a tremendous help for me. Uh, and then for you know, the people around me. Um, I have worked at several different festivals um, since then, um, since learning this and haunted houses. I will go into spiritual gardens um, off and on and try to go, you know, I'm there about once a month or so and um, do readings all day. And just the people I meet are lovely and knowing that I'm, I'm helping make a difference um, is fantastic. If I didn't take this course before I wouldn't be able to do that right now and I don't think I'd be fulfilling um any part of a path that I'm supposed to be you know uh, I'm supposed to be out there trying to help and if I didn't have this extra tool to use I wouldn't be doing that um the biggest thing I struggled with with the course was remembering the suits and their um and the numbers, what the different numbers meant. Uh, that took me a while to just get a grasp of it. Uh, the Major Arcana wasn't as difficult for me to remember, um, but the different suits and the different numbers were like, you know. struggle with a tarot training course, as I'm sure it is with most of you, is fitting in time to actually do the coursework. I have a very busy life and finding time every day to try to sit down and practice took some discipline from myself, but I'm more than happy that I did that. I tried to follow Jasmine's advice and take things step by step, go slowly through the learning process, and then build upon it. And so little by little every day, I would wake up in the morning, I would pull out a card, I would work through it, and I would refer back to my notes from the week if needed. And that really helped me to have step by step building of skills and therefore build more time into my day for it. It became less daunting the more I read and the more that I looked into the cards and I was able to find joy in doing that every day. And it became a bit of a ritual in itself to invest in my skills, to invest my time in myself. And that was the biggest hurdle was just getting over the thought of, oh, I'm too busy, oh, I'm too busy. Everyone's busy, you know, and it's really important to take time to do those things that make you feel alive, to make you feel good. And learning this process really helped me feel good. So it's given me 
not only skills in reading, but also skills in my personal life where I have been able to adapt and add practice into my daily routine. And I really, really have thrived in that environment. Kate Smith is a system. It is definitely not always something that you can be like, I'm seeing, da, 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 da. no, the cards are right there. They are telling you exactly what's going on. Go with your gut, listen to your intuition. Do not ever, ever let a querent or a client see you stutter. If you are working with clients and you're trying to get clients, do not make it so hard on yourself where you feel like you gotta get all these clients. It's, it's gonna take more than a year, maybe two years even, for you to really ingrain this information in your head. It's okay, there are gonna be times you don't remember. There have been times I've been at a bar or at a coffee shop and I'm in between the reading and I'm sitting here like, what'd you say? Okay, also to another thing with working with clients, a lot of listening. Do not, do not speak over people. Um, listen to people because you are there to give them an understanding of what's going on currently or even previously in their life. Um, you are a person who is making time, taking space and energy to give them a reading not only on what's going on but what could come. And I say that because I feel like a lot of people who do reading sometimes forget that um, and forget to connect with the clarent. Um, forget to understand that some people really do believe that we can see the Akashic records of what's going on in their life and us having these cards is our way to access that information. You may not know everything, babe, but you can read somebody without cards as well. I would say if, if you're afraid of um, trying to remember it all, take the class, take the time. Um, Jasmine does great with working with you. Um, doing exercises really helps. And um, I, th I think the biggest thing was just buckling down to try to remember to do them and practice at home in between the classes, but then also doing the, um, the tarot sizes in her course were great. Um, because that forced me to actually talk out loud to other people, which I would not have otherwise done. Um, <laughs> as far as trying to read and be confident with it. And so if you're afraid of that, just, just keep practicing and do the group work because that helps a lot and it helps you remember a lot too. Um, learning this has been great for me. Um, it's helped me in my personal path. Uh, if I think that I want to try to do this spell or um, I want to work to manifest and bring this into my life and I'll pull the deck out, one of them, because I now have plenty. Um, but I will pull, you know, my deck that I use the most out and specifically for that and find out is this the best course? Is this going to help me or is this gonna hurt me? Is this the right time? Things like that, new questions you can ask, different spreads you can do. And that's been definite um, game changer. It's been a booster because uh, before I would just like, oh, I wanna do this and go for it and not look for that extra guidance on should I or not. And this has helped teach me that, no, you probably should do that. So um, anyway, I say take the course if you want to take the course. If you are just interested, this is the better way to go than trying to learn learn through the book. Um, good luck. Taking the tarot training course, I've been able to read professionally, online, in person, and at festivals. And it was incredibly surprising to me how comfortable I felt doing that after taking the course and how quickly. If you really put in the time and build those connections with the cards and really take the time to absorb the material, you'll feel confident quickly as well, I'm sure of it. Jasmine does a wonderful job helping you build those skills, not only literally, but inside of yourself too. So I think that reading for other people has been one of the biggest privileges and biggest challenges that I've encountered. Reading for yourself is very 
personal. You know the full depth of what you're going for most times, or you um, are looking to kind of highlight a piece of yourself that maybe you're trying to hide. And that can be very eye-opening. But reading for other people, you don't always have the luxury of having details, of having background information. And that can be um, a challenge because you want to try to build those connections with your querent. And a lot of times they feel a little guarded and a little bit scared and unsure. And so having that time built into your readings to kind of hold space for your guest and to hold space for yourself is incredibly important. And it's helped me in my own readings. Reading for other people has given me different approaches, different techniques, um, thought-provoking questions to ask of myself and my personal readings. And I really have enjoyed the flow that has come from trying to read for other people. So start small. If you're intimidated for reading for other people, read for your friends, read for your family, um, and then kind of build up from there. But don't be surprised if you're also reading at a festival <laughs> relatively soon. So after taking the course, um, I actually got very plugged into doing readings more um, in person at the time. This was the before times, the pre-COVID era, the pre-pandemic Lovato life. Um, and I was going to coffee shops and working once a month and actually getting clients um, and actually meeting with people in person and doing 20 or 30 minute readings. Um, after that, I was kind of taken um, more into working at bars and seeing what that experience was like. Bars are wild. Um, especially gay bars, but you get the most tips, you get the most time with people, um, and a lot of time too, you get a lot of experience with learning how to speak to people in big, loud, heavy spaces, especially with a lot of dancing, a lot of bump and grinding and things like that. You have to be able to project, you have to be able to have people hear key words, and that is kind of what I carried into that. Um, I would say in my own um, personal practice, I use tarot pretty predominantly. Um, it's not the only divination system I use, but I definitely um, take more influence from what the cards say versus some other divination systems I've worked with. Um, I will also say too, I was a house reader at Spiritual Garden. Some of you may have known or have come to see me, um, but I did that for a year. Um, I would say I made a lot of money that year, especially as somebody who was working nine to five to stay alive. You know how it goes. Um, but it also wasn't just about the money. It was about being able to one, pay my bills for two, being able to help people, um, through a lot of their darkness. And for three, getting more understanding and exposure to the communities that I wanted to be a part of. Um, I would definitely say being a black woman, I wanted to serve black people because I wanted them to know that blackness and representation was a part of this witchcraft community, especially in a place like Indiana. My biggest advice for new tarot readers is truly just to breathe. When you've pulled your cards, really take a second to take inventory of what is not only on the table, but what you're feeling, how you're seeing the images, how you're reacting, and how your querent is reacting if it's not a personal reading. There's a lot that can be felt and seen and intuitively deduced in addition to what you're actually seeing on the table. I think that a lot of readers, then they start out, really just wanna have a cut and dry. This is the, what is happening, this is why, and this is the solution. And it doesn't always present itself in such an easy way. You'll get there, just practice. Take time, breathe, process through how you're feeling, and you'll give much deeper and thorough readings, not only for yourself, but for any querent that you have come along. And you'll get much deeper connected answers, much more thought provoking input from your cards, from the environment, from the stimulus that you're feeling from yourself. My biggest advice for people who are starting out in this course and learning through this course, um, take it day by day. This is not something you're gonna learn overnight. Not all things are gonna click during or even sometimes after the class. There were a lot of times that even though I knew key words, like the tower is very chaotic energy, um, the queen of wands can be a uh, very powerful, very overwhelming energy, spiritual, like a guidance, 
person um, or a pastor or a preacher or somebody who's passionate about their work, like that took time. Mm. So having jazz as an instructor is kind of funny, honestly, because like I'm already besties with her. We talk often. So it's not like I didn't understand how, you know, her Queen of Swords was going to come out. Um, to me, it was more funny when people just didn't realize, you know, what they were going to be in store with because some people know fun jazz. Some people have not seen teacher, professor of the occult jazz. Um, I felt like I had a good time. Um, if I didn't know something, I always ask questions. Um, Jazz already knows I have a I have a mirror face, so it breaks easy. So if I don't know something, I'll be like, look, I, I need to know, say that again, one more time, a little bit slower, is there a document? Um, also too, I will say that it also kind of helped me understand how she teaches. Um, especially for different types of people. Not everybody is going to understand, you know, RWS by looking at a piece of paper and just the documentation. Some people need back to back to back experience. Um, some people need to actually have multiple clients and do, you know, more than 20 readings in a day. And I do mean that. Um, to kind of get more exposure and understanding to what the Rider Waite Smith. Um, understanding is going to tell you. I hope you all enjoy this class. I hope you all enjoy this video, you know. Um, also to please do the work. If you slip up, Jazz will know. Love you, bye. I'm truly grateful to have taken the tarot training course. It was a pivotal moment for me when I discovered it and it has really opened up a whole world of opportunity to me. It has opened up walkways in my path that I didn't expect and it has helped me truly develop myself. And I think that that is what I was seeking in the beginning anyway. I was looking for a way to connect deeper with myself and to the world around me and to feel more grounded and centered in all of my processes. And reading for myself really allowed me to do that. It gave me a space to explore things that were so personal to me and to really ask questions of myself in an objective way that I couldn't have done without having that sort of tool as a reflection. And so divination has been a huge part of my practice and I still read tarot daily. Um, since the Rider Waite Smith deck that you're introduced to in this course, I've expanded to several others and it's become almost a hobby at this point to collect them, which um, was something that I didn't anticipate when I started. But I do regularly still pull the Rider Waite Smith as my daily card pull. And I think that it is something that keeps me grounded to my roots of my practice and really helps me feel confident when I'm exploring new decks. So build your confidence first at this level and then proceed, see how you feel. Really pay attention to how you react and how you process this course and use those skills elsewhere. Thank you all so much for watching. I look forward to seeing all of you students the following Wednesday, um, and I will see you then. And uh, I'll probably have some sanatorium stuff that we can talk about too. But I think that all of my current TTC students are doing phenomenal, and I'm very excited to see where Tarot takes you. Until next time, blessed be. For greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless uh, A sea of the aimless I don't wanna be one of the nameless I'ma wake up with the mindset That one day I'm gonna make it And I don't think I'll be fine If I don't break my limitations Don't try to stop me